Let's begin with breaking news. Another councillor has been shot dead in Gwazulu Natal in the Umlazi B section near Durban. The councillor was reportedly travelling with two others when they were ambushed. Unknown gunmen fired at the vehicle before they lost control and veered off the road. The councillor was pronounced dead at the scene and the two other victims have been rushed to hospital in a critical condition. Let's get more details now on this particular story and speak to KZN ANC's Provincial Secretary Begum Dolo. Ms. Mdolo, thank you so much for your time. Very disturbing developments we're hearing this afternoon. What happened, as you've heard? No, thanks very much. Uh, uh, greetings to viewers. I, I think, we, firstly, as the African National Congress in Mazul Natal, we want to pass a, a sincere word of condolences to the family, uh, Shandu family, and um, the entire people of Mukambatin, the local municipality, and Ugumudu uh, district for the uh, uh, senseless loss of, of a life uh, that was very young. Uh, for now, I think uh, we, we, we don't know what has happened, what are the circumstances that has led for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the brutal murder of a, of a, of a councillor Shandu. What, what, what we know is that. Uh, this was a second uh, uh, attempt uh, incident because at some point, I think uh, around last month, he was also he survived an attack around Bumbulu in Etiwini. Now it means this time these assassins were well prepared uh, and they they made sure that uh, they, they, they 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 killed him on the scene. Mm. Uh, for now, we can say uh, let's call for calm because we don't know what are the surrounding circumstances that have led to this uh, to this death. Uh, I will, will go to the to the family and will also speak with the municipality after uh, we have known we have known all the total total surrounding circumstances. I think at the African Union we will be able to pronounce ourselves what we think was the motivation of this senseless killing. And, you know, while, of course, as you say, details are sketchy and we do have our reporter who is at the scene, I wonder, though, how concerned are you for the councillors who are your members, given what has been happening in Guazul Natal, especially when we've seen, um, you know, some of them being brutally murdered? Mr. Mdolo? I'm not sure if you're able to oh, hear I'm very us. concerned. I think uh, it is clear now that... Um, uh, Guazulu Natal is becoming a killing. We, we are very concerned. Yes, I can hear you. Do you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I think uh, as the ANC in Guazulu Natal, we are, we are very, very, very concerned about uh, the situation which is becoming a case that, uh, which is becoming a killing things for ANC councillors. We have lost uh, while while uh, while most part, while other parties have lost councillors, but I think as the ANC, we have at least uh, 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 shared a lot of most of the now to start to the approach of a, of a general elections. Uh, but uh, for now, we can't uh, we can't comment because we don't want also to be reckless and uh, say things that are not uh, based on facts. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, which are only based on perceptions. Mm. And as you say, then, uh, as we end off our conversation, because I can see even our network is not so great, but I wonder, you know, one is wondering, we've seen uh, killings over time now, and as you say, it's a huge concern in Guazul Natal. I wonder from your vantage point, what is, what is it that is making it difficult for this problem to be dealt with once and for all? It's very difficult because at some point, remember, before the Morana Commission, there was this uh, cry that uh, uh, criminals are not apprehended and then they are not brought to book. But after that uh, uh, commission, uh, the police minister set up a, a, a national task team, which has made a lot of progress in Guazul Natal, which has arrested more than 200 people. Some of the cases are still on court. Some of the cases have made... Uh, convictions uh, uh, of, of the killing of councillors. Just last month, uh, a certain uh, person was accused of killing a, a councillor in Etewin, was convicted and was sent to life imprisonment. But it seems that uh, these assassins are not are not even scared of those consequences. Mm. We don't know what 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 will be the motivation of this. And it's very disturbing. And as you say, then we'll await details as you continue then to probe and speak to the family and those around, just to get a sense of what may have happened.